A very good afternoon to you. Welcome to Inside Sports. My name is Robinson Okenye. For the next 20 minutes or so, we'll be talking a look at, uh, uh, rather taking a look at what is happening in the exciting and wonderful world uh, of uh, sports. We have uh, results from the NBA preseason matches that were held in the morning, as well as results from uh, yesterday in uh, the UEFA Euro 2024 Germany qualifiers. Now, aside from that, today we'll be breaking the norm of uh, Inside Sports. We'll be talking about some uh, cycling, an event that is uh, happening in uh, November. And it's all about uh, live uh, free cycling. We'll be getting to, uh, to that in a bit with uh, Caroline Dungu from uh, Jubilee. But I want us to begin uh, Inside Sports uh, this afternoon with some basketball action. Now, the National Women's Wheelchair Basketball Team has intensified its training ahead of East Africa Games that will be held on the 20th of November this year in Rwanda. Davis Mberia visited the team in a non-residential camp at Nyao Stadium and filed the following reports. With less than a month left for the East Africa Games to kick off in Rwanda, the National Women's Basketball Wheelchair Team is leaving nothing to chance. The Games comes barely a month after the team posted stellar performance in all Africa Para Games that were held in Ghana, finishing in the third position. That is man to man. To ensure they better their performance, the team under head coach Florence Sara has been training with their male counterparts. Changamoto kwetu ilikuwa kwa team kuna classes tunapewa. Alafu unapata kuna mabigman na kuna maloman. Sasa unapata kama maloman wetu tuko chini. Unapata mabigman na tuwezi cheza pamoja. Paka tuchanganyishwe na low pointer. Sasa wama low pointer ndo tuna work hard kwa tusadie kwa mambo ya screen. So we can do better than we do before. However, making it to the final squad that will travel to Rwanda will not be an easy task. To kenda mchuano wa All African Games, tulienda wakizaji kumina mbili. Na wale wanne tuliwawacha, bado wako katika mazoezi. So, ule atakuwa mejijimia katika mazoezi ya mamelegea legea, meza kumuliplace pale. This will be the first time the para sports disciplines have been included in the East Africa Games. Considered as the region's heavyweight, the Kenya women's para basketball team will be aiming to stamp its authority in the East Africa Games by bringing home the title. Davis Mberia, KTN Sports. Well, Davis Mberia for.